this thing right here was supposed to be here in two days, yet I got it today. And I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to figure out exactly what this is. My friends, this is my action replay power saves. My own version, well, not my own version per se, but my own copy of it. And I figured, well, what better way to give coverage than to do a full unboxing? But as you can see, this isn't a box because the packaging is relatively small, so it comes in a little sleeve like this. When I ordered this, I know a lot of people in my previous video talking about the action replay were saying how they had astronomical shipping prices in order to get this thing to them. And the thing is, is that I actually have Amazon Prime, and I'm not trying to gloat, but if you do have Amazon Prime, or even if you're in the 30-day trial that you get when you start it, you'll be able to get this shipped to you in two days for absolutely free, you know? So try to take advantage of the, of the Prime service or the Prime trial if you can, if you want to order this thing, because it really helps, because not only did this thing get to me at light speed, the date expected for this was March 5th, but it's here on the 3rd. So I, I'm really amazed, and I ordered this on Friday, so Amazon Prime is the best way to go. But anyways, without going off the topic for too much. Um, the shipping was great, it got here really fast. Without any further ado, man, let's get into the unboxing. But, it's not a box. We have the Action Replay Power Saves here in the original packaging that the mail carrier brought it in. I'm going to unbox this thing. I have my address on the other side, so I can't let you see that. But, um, all right, so let's get into this. I'm gonna open it raw with my own hands. And, um, let's see. I know the packaging isn't going to really be too much, but, um, yeah, all right, so here we go. Thanks to the mailman being a goddamn barbarian, the packaging is sort of bent on the back, as you can see, but it, I'm sure the device is all right. And as you can see right here, here it is in full view, the action replay power saves for the 3DS. I'm really excited to have this. There was a lot that I plan on doing with this, and on top of it all, to give you guys the coverage, because I know a lot of people out there want to know everything that this thing has to offer. So as you can see on the front, it also says compatible with the 2DS. So regardless of what version of the 3DS you have, 2DS included, it'll be able to work with that. And um, so now, let's, let me just read what it says in the back here a little bit. You know, standard crap. It probably, it probably won't even tell me how to work it until I get to the packaging on the inside. So whatever the case may be, let's open this thing up. I'm going to do this extremely rough. All right, here we go. Boom, just like that, it's unboxed. <laughs> okay, so on this paper here, there's actually, this is the explanation for how to work this thing. Oh, it's not even a, it's not even a booklet. It's not even a booklet. You just, um, let me see if it can, I can get the camera to focus here. But um, it's not even a booklet, as you guys can see. It's just one sheet of paper. And with this sheet of paper, there's actually a key on the other side of this, which I can't show you guys because that'll be my license key for using the device on my own accord. But there's a key on the back of this that is about um, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 25, 26 letters long. 26 letters long that will tell you what, that, that'll give you the key to type in when you use the software. And as you guys can see here in the rest of the packaging, there is no CD. You have the mini USB cable here for connecting it to your computer. And then you have the device itself. So when you look here, this came in the package, this came in the package, this, this, well, that's part of the mail courier packaging. This, um, you know, nothing really important came other than A, B, and C. Now, the key is on the back of this, so um, this is a really simple unboxing. There's not much that comes with this. Usually action replays would come with a CD to install the stuff, but no CD here, man. This is just raw... Just just raw hardware and this is the only hardware that really comes in the box with this so um there we go That's our unboxing. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves And of course as usual, please have yourself a damn good one I, I hope you didn't believe me for that last thing No, no, of course, that's not the end of it. That was such a small unboxing and the pieces that come with it are so so minuscule that it would be a it would be a cock tease to end the video at this point so what we're going to do now is i'm actually going to go through the setup of installing this whole thing and getting this running and we're going to try to get some codes on our game and um we'll be using my pokemon y version cart for my capture card here so um we're going to use my y version cart here and we're going to see what we can do with this power save let's just see if this power save is truly as powerful as they've been hyping it up to be that was fucking horrible. Alright guys, so I have my power save, the USB cable, so I'm just going to plug in the USB cable here. Just to make sure everything's good. Mini USB, not micro, mini. And um, you have it now, so I'm going to plug this into my computer USB port right now. 
Wait, no, actually no. Let's put our Pokemon Y version game in there first. So Y version's going in right here. Has a nice click. It doesn't it doesn't push in like the 3DS, it just clicks in. So boom, click in. Now I'm going to connect this to my computer. Through my USB 3.0 port, just if you're curious. Alright, so as you guys can see, the it says that the driver was um, basically put in correctly. So now, the, it, I mean, I don't know if that's the way that this is supposed to go, but let me see here. Okay, so it says installing. Go to the web page here. So I'm going to just go to this web page because it says you have to go here to download the device. So I'm just going to. Sorry if I'm not doing this in that much of a professional way, but I'm kind of just doing this out the box. This is the way that you guys would if you get your device. So I'm going to close these tabs out here and um, codejunkies.com slash manual slash 3ds slash power saves oh oh I already have it okay oh, yeah, because I went to the website beforehand to see what it would be like to download this whole thing so okay so now we're at this website as you guys can see so sorry about that I just want to keep adjusting the camera make sure everything's good you guys can see me well uh, maybe a little bit brighter no there we go. Okay, that's fine. So, as you can see here, now we're at the 3DS Power Saves website. So, it says go here and then select the Power Saves 3DS software option beneath the download section to download. Okay. And we have Windows 7, so we're just going to download this. All right. So, um, after this is done downloading, we'll install it. It's only 3.5 megabytes, so that's a pretty small file size. So, now we're going to open this up. I'm going to show close this, minimize that, close that. Okay, so now select extract to uncompressed file. So the same location as the compressed file. Double click the setup file. So let's install, let's just move the setup file to the desktop and then we'll install this whole thing. All right, so as you can see there, we have the setup file right here. So let's click this. This is file the on screen prompts to install the software to a location of your choice. All right, and it says right here that you can get this on the Mac. You just have to follow different instructions, but you can use this device with the Macintosh computer for God knows what reason you would want to do that. <laughs> but all right, um, so this is good. English is fine. Next, power saves. Yes, install, install, install. All right, so everything seems good. So now let's launch this thing. Okay, so now as you can see here, it says. A valid email address and license details are required to use this product. The license key can be found in the product packaging, which is on the back of this piece of paper that I got with the whole thing. So now, in order for the PowerSafe 3DS software to communicate with your 3DS game cartridge, the 3DS game cartridge has to be connected to your computer. Okay, so now, we have to put in the license key. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so now, we have to put in our email address. Um, I'll use, actually, um, I'll skip this process since, you know, obviously sensitive details are going to be put in here. Like, I can't let you see my license key, but alright. Okay, so we are back. And now, as you can see, I have just finished putting in my license key, and everything seems good so far. So the software has now started up, and, um, alright, so I'm going to full screen this. And so now we're looking at the, the interface here for the software. It says no local content available. We have power saves over here, no online content available. Codes. Okay, here we go. So as you can see, these are the codes. Wow, all right, so it works this simple. I'm just going to try taking my Y game out and see what happens. It says insert your game cartridge, so we're going to insert it now. There we go, boom. So now let's figure out how this works. Let's see what some of these options are. Oh, 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 oh I gotta cut that out. All right. So now, um, now that we're on the main screen, as you can see, there's an options menu on the bottom left corner of the screen, but that pretty much opens up your license key details and backup details, or rather not backups, but just your email and your license key. That just tells you that. So I don't, I want to show that on camera because I don't want people, you know, using my shit. But okay. So right now it says PC, car PC cartridge. Let's just go back up. Save description, we'll call this Etika's first save. Hit OK. Reading cartridge. Wow, and just like that, it has my save file backed up on the computer. That's insane. So now we can use this save to edit things, I'm guessing. Restore, 
exclusively. Oh, all right. Now we have power saves. No online content available. What? And now we have codes. Okay, so codes for Pokemon Y. Miscellaneous codes. Cash. Max. Apply that. Apply that, definitely. So it's reading my cartridge now. Now it's uploading my save to the Action Replay servers. The server is de-encrypting, putting the code in, and then encrypting it again. And then it's going to send the save. As you can see, okay, so it really does send your save file to the Action Replay servers. They de-encrypt it, add the cheat, then re-encrypt it, send it back to you, load it onto your cartridge, and then boom. All right, so um, you know what? We're just gonna go through that whole list and add on every single code that I would want for the game. So now it's writing that save to my cartridge here, which is connected to my USB 3.0 port. As you guys can see, right? Well, you probably can't see it exactly, but it's okay. So there we go. So I should have on my save file now, max cash. So let's add max battle points, max Poké miles. Forget it. Fuck it. Why not? Max item codes. Slot one, everything. Yeah, yeah, you know, this is great. Auto modifier codes. Wow, and it has every single. Wow, all right, interesting. Wait, let me let me set my online status to do not disturb. Very interesting. Wow, so every single Mega Stone is here. So item modifier in slot one for 999. Every single Mega Stone, boom, just like that. Pretty impressive, man. Latio site, Latia site. Wow. <laughs> this is something. You just have all the power right in your hands, man. Isn't that crazy? I'm looking right at it. Right. Okay, anyways, um, all right, recovery item codes. Max item codes, slot one. You look, max item codes. Look, just like that. 999 rare candy in slot one. PP max carp. Yeah, you know what? Let's do all these. Oh, oh, we can't do all these. Oh, okay. We have to choose one. Well, let's use max rare candies. Berry codes. Max item codes. Slot one, max, max, max everything. Max everything out, girl. Okay, now let's go up to where these items were, man. Um, item, item modifier in slot one. So I guess it'll give me 999 of any item that's here in slot one of my bag. So fuck it, let's, let's give ourselves 999 um, Latiosite. Yeah, fuck it, Latiosite. And max item codes. Let's just add 999 for everything that I have in my bag currently at the moment. And um, tool items. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Recovery items. Max items for everything. You know, I'm just going to go down this list and add max. Because, you know, at the end of the day here, once I do it once, that'll be it. So, hey, fuck it. It works. Recovery item change. Max rare candy in the first slot. Definitely. Very codes. Berry codes? Yeah, fine. Max berries and everything. I don't give a damn. Shiny Pokemon codes. This code will turn your Pokemon into a traded Pokemon, so keep that in mind, okay? Turn first Pokemon in box shiny. Alright, so I'll fuck with the shiny codes later. And this will make the Pokemon unshiny. Interesting, alright. Box 1, slot 1, Pokemon modifier code. Level 1 DNC, level 15 DNC. Holy crap, it's that simple? It's that simple to get DNC? Holy shit! Oh my god, okay, let's put a level 15 DNC in there. <laughs> Wonder card slot one. Um, Torchic Wonder card, DNC Wonder card. Wow. Wow. O power codes. Let's see, what do they have for this? Full O power orbs. This will give you 10 orbs plus a free action. What? Wow, what? Alternate forms. Flowette codes. You must have a flowette in box one, slot one. They have multiple forms and the AZ form. Holy crap, this is crazy. You really get the power with this. Holy shit. Like, you, so, like I said though, guys, there's no codes here for editing your Pokemon's IVs, nature, or stats, or EVs. You know, you ain't editing a Pokemon. You ain't creating a Pokemon, man. You just have what you got right here. Maybe that'll change in the near future, but right now, these are the only options that you have. So let's apply all of these right now. So it's uploading my save file now. And the server is going to add all these things into my game, which I think is going to probably take a little bit longer than it did before because, you know, we're adding in a lot of cheats right now. But then again, look, look at that. The server is handling it pretty damn well, man. I think everything's good. Wow, this is serious. So in my game, I'm really going to have all that stuff? Like, that is crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> Just like that. Now it's downloading that save file and saving it to the cartridge. And just like that, my friends, 
we have ourselves a very powerful save file with max items in almost every single category. We should have a ton of rare candies. We should have a ton of Latiosite. Just like that. All right, so now we're good here. Power saves, no online content available. I don't know what this option tab is here, but hey, I don't know, man. We'll, we'll, we'll work on it. Okay, automatic backup. Oh, so it automatically backs up the save files that you have as soon as, wait, restore. Restore this backup, yeah. All right, so it backs up your saves, man. It really backs them up. As long as you um, are changing codes, it backs them up right away. So there we go. I think we're done here, man. I think we're done here. So we can close this program now. I'm going to remove my Y version game from here. Now we are going to load up my Pokemon Y and we will see what the hell is going on inside of this game. Is the power saves really going to be able to do everything that is said in the options menu? It probably is, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, guys, so we are back. We got our um, Pokemon Y version game with these power saves saved on. This will be my first time seeing if they work. Got my capture card right here, got everything set up. So let's click open and um, we'll see what the hell happened to our game, man. This is this is bananas if it can happen that simple, man. Just turn a Pokemon shiny, just like that, boom. It kind of takes away from the people who take that time to breed their sixth gen Pokemon. I feel kind of bad for them, but at the same time, man, it was only a matter of time until the game got hacked. So now everything seems good so far. Our character is good. Um, let's see what's going on here, man. Let's check out our bag. And, um, Latiosite! <laughs> right at the fucking top! Latiosite! 999, nigga! Wow! <laughs> this device works perfectly. As you can see, there's not a hitch. Holy crap, I cannot believe this really works so simply. Like, that's really how it works? Absolite, boom, max, ball mushroom, max everything. Max everything, Charizardite. Oh man, this is insanity. This is insanity, man. Holy crap. <laughs> I can't believe this. Rare candies, 999. <laughs> Holy crap, this is insane. 999 rare candies, just like that, boom. Let's see. Um. Ether, PP up, HP up. EV training is going to be so much easier with this because now I just have the maximum items here. So iron, I can easily raise a Pokemon EVs with no problem with the items like this because you know you couldn't buy them with money. You had to use battle points. But now I can just load myself up on these and it'll be fine. That's crazy. That is crazy. Oran berries, max everything, max everything, max man. This is safe. This is sick. But now, let's check our box and see if we have that Deancey that we've been anticipating so much. So, so much. Withdraw Pokemon. Um, oh, those are my hack dittos. Don't worry about those. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Deancey. Where's Deancey at? I don't see it here. I don't see it. Nope, don't see Deancey. Hmm. Where did my Deancey go? Yeah, I don't see it here. I'm guessing I didn't do the code right, maybe? I, di I guess I didn't do the code right. Maybe there's something I gotta do specifically, but um, yeah, I didn't do the code right. But, you know, either way, this device does work, as you guys can see. Everything is seamless. Everything's good, man. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this thing. I can't wait to use ADZ's Floet because that thing looks like it's gonna be a great Pokemon for Trick Room. Yeah, Deontay didn't show up, but I'm guessing I probably did something wrong. But, you know, it's all good. At the end of the day, we know the device still works just fine. It's crazy. It's fucking crazy. Holy crap. Let me check my party. Shanty. Yeah, yeah, everyone's good here. But all right, man, that's crazy. But you know what? This has been a test of the extra replay power saves and, um, well, an unboxing and a first impressions. And as I can, as you guys can see here, I'm extremely satisfied. This worked like a charm. And, um, yeah, man, this is just insane. Like, I can't believe it. If you guys want to see more footage of this thing in action, definitely let me know in the comments. But for now, I think you guys have seen just enough of what you wanted to see. I've seen enough to make me a believer. The action replay power saves. If you are serious about Pokemon battling and just being a, just being a hacker in general, this is a device for you to get. I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.